Nur Iniat Khan was an unlikely heroine in Britain's fight against the Nazis in the Second World War. In Muslim and a pacifist, she became a British spy and was the first female radio operator to be parachuted into Nazi-occupied France. She was later betrayed and died in a German concentration camp. Today, her London home became a symbol of her bravery with a new blue plaque. Paul Davis has her story. Her statue already looks out over Bloomsbury and the quiet corner of London she adopted as her home before leaving to become the most unlikely of Allied spies. Daughter of a mystic Islamic preacher, descendant of Indian royalty and a dedicated pacifist, Nur Inayat Khan risked and ultimately lost her life behind enemy lines. Her story so remarkable it's perhaps surprising it's taken so long for her old home to be marked with the iconic English heritage plaque. Her biographer, who campaigned for this recognition, hopes it will help the world learn of Noor's story. I love that house on Tavington Street because that's the last house she lived in. And when she walked out of there, she would have known that she may not come back, but she couldn't tell her mother where she was going. A fluent French speaker and skilled radio operator, Noor ran a spy cell in occupied Paris. Her war reflected in the film she inspired. SOE radio operators were desperately needed in France. Their average survival time was only six weeks. Noor was betrayed, arrested and tortured before being shot. To the end, she defied her Nazi interrogators. She revealed nothing. She absolutely gave away no secrets. There were her male colleagues who crumbled. Today's honor welcomed by the spy's nephew. I grew up hearing of my aunt from my father, who never failed to weep when he spoke of her. After the war, he was just shattered to learn what she had gone through. Belatedly, many people now feel this unlikely hero is being accorded a uniquely English honour by the country she adopted and ultimately gave her life for. She is the first woman of Asian origin to have her history celebrated in this way. Paul Davis, ITV News.